It's sunny today, but it looks a little duller in the sky. Maybe it's because of the smoke. And what did I read today? It seems like there was so much news about what happened previously in terms of the Olympics and Team Canada flying a drone apparently to cheat in terms of seeing the strategies of the other team. But how about this one? They say it's been happening for a while. This one says Canada's men's and women's soccer teams have relied on drones and spying for years. Sources say Again, when it came to the Olympics this year, it was more about security concerns, about terrorists. But in this regard, it's all about cheating, which is a little odd. It says here, coaching staff and contractors working with Canada's men's and women's national soccer teams have been engaged for years in efforts to film the closed-door training sessions of their opponents, including during the women's gold medal winning Olympic tournament in 2021. Two sources with first-hand knowledge of the activity told TSN. The filming also included at least one training session before a women's national team game against Panama in July 2022. When Canada was attempting to qualify for the Women's World Cup in Australia, one of the sources said, In that case, the source said a Canadian contractor was caught attempting to film a private Panama training and a complaint was made by the Panamanian Football Federation to Canada Soccer and to CONCACAF the soccer confederation that governs the sport in North and Central America and the Caribbean. The historical spying allegations comes with the Canada's women's soccer team program under intense scrutiny at the Olympics in Paris. According to this too, it says Team Canada actually beat Team New Zealand 2-1. It makes me wonder how people reacted with all this news in regards to that win anyways. And it says some staff and contractors were told the filming was part of their jobs and that they could lose their positions with the Federation if they did not go along with the demands. One of the sources said in a series of interviews with TSN on Wednesday and Thursday. What it actually gets me to think though is because usually nowadays when it comes to big events like the Olympics, there's these huge no-fly zones in a lot of places. So in saying they've been doing it for years, wouldn't that imply they've been quote breaking the law in that regards anyways? Or did all these guys get permission to fly the drones at those specific venues saying for example oh we're using it to film ourselves like oh just i guess a blank permission or something like that but if they didn't again that would imply they broke federal laws per se which is kind of worse than the cheating aspect if this is true anyways but again this seems to be the dominant news in terms of people using drones and as well depending on what type of drone they were using since they confiscated the actual drone, it makes you wonder if they had all of the flight logs from the drone in the past as well. Can you imagine if they actually used the exact same drone? It'll show you exactly where they flew and when. It's funny enough too, with all that talk in the US and how they want to ban things like Chinese made drones, DJI for example, because they fear the drones always store your data, sends it back to China or something like that. I mean, this would be kind of an easy way to prove that if that was the case or not anyways. And I was reading this, which talked about a strike in the entertainment business. I was thinking, what, another one already? But this one has to do with video games, in particular with voice actors anyways. This one says, video game actors are now on strike. Here's why. Hollywood's video game performers went on strike Friday after negotiations with the game industry giants that began more than a year and a half ago came to a halt over artificial intelligence protections. Yeah, it's that topic of AI in terms of a lot of people's concerns having their voices and stuff being reused over and over again without compensation, I suppose. Leaders of the Screen Actors Guild, American Federation of Television and Radio Artists have built the issues behind the labor dispute and AI in particular as an existential crisis for performers. Game voice actors and motion capture artists like NIST, they say, could be replicated by AI and used without their consent and without fair compensation. The union says the unregulated use of AI poses an equal or even greater threat to performers in the video game industry than it does in film and television because the capacity to cheaply and easily create convincing digital replicas of performers' voices is widely available. SAG AFTRA negotiators said gains had been made over wages and job safety in the video game contract, but that the two sides remain split over the regulation of generative AI. A spokesperson for the video game producers, Audrey Cooling, said the studios offered meaningful AI protections to performers in their proposal, but SAG AFTRA's negotiating committee said that the studio's definition of who constitutes as a quote, performer is a key to understand the issue of who would be protected, saying quote, the industry has told us point blank that they do not necessarily consider everyone who is rendering movement performance to be a performer 
that is covered by the collective bargaining agreement, SAG after Chief Contracts Officer Ray Rodriguez said at a news conference Thursday afternoon. He said some physical performances are being treated as, quote, data. So that's kind of an interesting wording. I remember reading a story before where there were some big performers that were offered roles in a movie, for example. Let's just say it was like a martial arts flick. And what the studio wanted to be able to do was because they hired, let's just say, the actor to do all these crazy martial arts stunts and all that, they would actually own all the rights to the movement, I guess, like what they say there. So they could literally use it in other movies afterwards. I don't know, train like a robot, for example, to use their exact moves and styles as well. So they actually rejected it. So it makes me wonder if that's kind of what this is implying. That's kind of sneaky too, the more I think about it anyways. Alright, see you guys later.